welcome back to Pure Lottie. So today's video is the base Lumi box video. So if you want to see what I got for this month, then make sure you keep watching. And if you like today's video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up down below because it really helps me out. And if you're new, don't forget to join my family. Hit that subscribe button and change that notification bell to all so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, let's jump in. So before we jump into this month's base box, I just wanted to mention I do have an affiliate code with Lumibox. The code is PureLotty10 if you would like to save 10% off your very first box with Lumibox. So the base box is 49 Australian dollars and you get five full size products in there. So jumping straight in, um, if you haven't seen my previous videos, you do get a little thank you card with all of the socials on the back. And then you do get a printed list of all the items in your box. So this month's theme is weekend mood every day. So the first product we've got in here is from Model Rock and it is an all over shaper sponge. So it just looks like this and it is latex free so it's like a little mini beauty blender it retails for $9.95 and is available from modelrocklashes.com so i've always been a beauty blender girl so i'm excited to have another little one i think this will be really good for you know the little areas like concealer and stuff like getting around your nose and everything so super excited for this So I've just used this little mini sponge. Um, I used it to prime my eyes and to pop my concealer on. I do really like it for that. I did try and use it to put my primer on, um, but it just took quite a bit because my primer needs to go all over my face. So uh, this sponge is really good for small areas. It is very, very precise and good to get in on your inner corner there and blend it out really nicely i really like how soft and spongy it is um but definitely not something for putting like your foundation on or anything like your full face it will take you a while because it is so small um just for example so this is like my normal beauty blender that I'll place my makeup on with and this is the little small one. So there is a pretty big size difference with this. This is dirty because I've just done my foundation with it. Um, so yeah, really good for small things. So I do have a negative on it though. Uh, I grabbed a bowl of water so that I could show you the difference in size when it was dry and wet. And looking at this water, it has see if I can it's very hard to show you without spilling all over my desk I might take a picture and add it in um, in case you can't see it but it has turned the water very purple um, like the purple color came out of it and turned the water purple so I'm a bit concerned about that um, I can't see any like purple on my face so I don't think it came off on my face but color did come out of this so I am concerned is it going to end up purple on my face at any time. So I've just noticed there is a little goodie in the bottom of this box. So it came with a little cookie. How cute is this? It is pink and it says Lumi Box on the front of it. It is so adorable. So yeah, it's a nice big cookie. So I'm excited to eat this later, maybe with a cup of tea. So the next product that we've got in this box is a natural argan oil lip treatment. It is from Italia Deluxe. So this retails for $7.95 and it is sold at discountbeautyboutique.com.au. So this is what it looks like. The camera can pick it up. So it's just a nice little tube. Um, 
has a 12 month expiry on it and it says it hydrates and restores brightens conditions and it has vitamin E and C in it so you can never have too many lip treatments especially when it is winter it is winter here in Australia right now so yeah I'm super excited to give this one a go So I just tried the lip treatment, as you would have seen in my little clip. Um, as soon as I opened the lid, it came exploding out. So um, that probably happened being shipped over here, probably pressurized or something. So I have to be very careful with that. Um, you would have also noticed that I had a horrible face because I accidentally got a little bit inside my mouth and it tasted disgusting, like really bad, like real chemically um as for the scent it's not the best scent but it's not the worst either um it is an argan oil treatment though it, i think it's like a fake smelling scent so it's not the best smell doesn't taste nice um feels nice and lightweight on the lips definitely uh more of like an oil feeling not a like gloss feeling or anything very lightweight a little bit went a long way um i'm just gonna wear this whilst i do my makeup so i will check back in and tell you guys what i think of it after i've done the rest of my makeup this is what my lips are looking like so I try not to get very much concealer or anything or foundation on them. But let's wipe it off. This is what they look like now. But they feel so much softer and nicer. Uh, very hydrated. They feel really, really, like really do feel nice. Um, so yeah, I really do like that product and I'm excited to keep using it. Um, I had it on for about probably 45 minutes to an hour and yeah, that gave me a nice like prepped lip before I go in with a liquid lip. So the next product is from Lemon and Beaker and this is their dual blend repairing serum. So it comes in a box like this, which is a really cute packaging. You can see that there. Let's open it up, have a quick look at what it's like inside. Oh, this looks really cute. Okay, so it comes, it's like really luxurious. Look at that. It comes in a frosted glass bottle and it has the squeezy tube up the top. You can see the two different products in there. So it's more of like a cleary one and then an orange one at the top. So it does say to shake it up before you. So let's see what happens when you shake it. Okay, it turns into like a light orangey color um, all the way through. So yeah, super excited about that. If you aren't aware, I'm not actually trying any skincare at the moment um, because I am trying to find out what I'm allergic to. So I will pass this on to a friend or family member or if they don't want it, I might pop it in a giveaway. But this retails for 62 Australian dollars and it is available from lemonandbeaker.com. So the next product is from Model Rock and it is another liquid last liquid to matte lipstick. So this one says it's You Morph Me. That's the shade. Um, it comes in the cute packaging again. Let's open it up and give it a swatch. So this is the tube inside and we did get a Model Rock liquid lip last month. So let's have a look and we can compare it. So this is last month's colour. So as you can see, this one is quite light. So let's give it a quick swatch. Has the same doe fit applicator on it as well. And let's give it a swatch. Ooh, it's like a nice, like, nudey mauve colour. It is very, very pretty. 
So I am excited to try that on. I think it will go really, really nicely with some of my looks. So very excited to have that. And again, this retailed for 25 Australian dollars and is available from modelrocklashes.com. So I just used the liquid lipstick from Model Rock. Uh, this is what it looks like on my lips. Looks really nice. Um, very comfortable, just the same as last month's one. It Very lightweight on your lips. Um, it does, however, enhance your lines on your lips when you're not smiling. So, uh, yeah, be weary of that. I haven't popped a lip liner on or any gloss so that I can show you how it wears off. I really do like this colour. It's very pretty. It's like a mauve nude colour. Um, but, yeah, it is really comfortable to wear, easy to pop on. It's just got a standard Doford applicator, so I'm very happy with it. So, a four-hour check-in on the lips. So, this is what my lips are looking like. So as you can see, it has accentuated all the lines in my lips, unfortunately. Um, but it is wearing really nice. I have just been drinking a tea and so far none of it has really worn off. Yeah, no, it looks pretty even all over. Um, I do have my tea in like a thermos with a straw, so it would be right there in the middle. So yeah, I think the liquid lipstick is doing really well. So we're now almost nine hours in with the wear test um, and I'm just doing the last check-in for the lips here. Um, this is what the lipstick looks like. Just zoomed you in so you can see. So you can definitely see where it has settled into all my lines on my lips. Um, and it has worn off a little bit like on the inside which is where it would wear off first normally um, so yeah I really love the color I really love how lightweight it is it really doesn't feel like anything is on your lips at this point it is a little bit drying on my lips I can definitely feel my lips being dry now um, but I mean for eight hours in that's pretty good so yeah, I'm really impressed with it. And the lucky last product came in some bubble wrap. It is from Basic Beauty and it is the Vacation Face Palette. So I've just taken it out of the bubble wrap and let's open it up. This is what the packaging looks like, by the way, on the front. It's like a cardboard packaging. It's like a creamy color. Um, and then it's just got like gold writing on it. So going inside, it is the same packaging as like the bronzer set that I've previously got. And it inside, it has a mirror, which is good for traveling, but it has a bronzer, a blush and a highlighter. And I think those colors will work really well on my skin tone. So I'm excited to play with that. So I have just applied the bronzer, um, it is a little bit powdery, like a little bit of kickback in the pan there. Um, I will say it blends pretty nicely, um, I do like Basic Beauty's formulas, um, but it is a little bit too deep for me, I'm not sure if you're able to see, it's very very deep toned for me so I was having to blend it out quite a bit because you can see now a big line on my head my forehead because it is a bit too deep um so I probably won't use this shade again for me I do have their bronzer trio though and um there's a shade in that that works really nicely for me Okay, so I've just used the blush. This is what it's looking like. 
um it is super 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 pigmented so a little bit went a long way here um again it might be a bit too deep for my skin tone i'm not actually going anywhere today so that's okay um i think definitely probably a bit too much uh i do love my blush but this is quite quite a look <laughs> so i'm looking very blushy and bronzy here but it blended really nice i really do like the formula i think this palette overall is probably a bit too deep for my skin tone which i really hoped it wouldn't be but i think it is um i will probably uh, re-gift this on to someone like a friend or family member that has a bit of a deeper skin tone because i am so ghostly white and no matter how much I blend, like that's a lot of pigment. Okay, so I actually just used the bronzer on my eyes and it is actually a really nice eyeshadow colour. Um, I'm just chilling at home today so I just want a real basic look and I normally do bronzer on my eyes when I don't want to do anything like super fancy or I'm just in a rush because it matches with your bronzer on your face and it just it just seems to complete it really nicely so very happy with it as an eyeshadow um but yeah definitely too deep for my skin tone for an actual bronzer um so I think I will probably pass it on but I'm going to give the highlighter a shot as well Okay, so I've just popped the highlighter on and I just wanted to show you there is a lot of kickback in the pan for the highlighter. It is a really pretty colour. It does work on my skin tone, um, but I do have other highlighters. So I think, yeah, I'm probably going to pass this on to someone with a deeper skin tone um, because I'm just not going to use it enough. And it is such a nice formula. I don't want to just let it sit there in my drawer and go to waste. It does work really nicely as an eyeshadow though. Um, so I've just popped the highlighter over top of the bronzer and it just made it really nice. Let's pop a little bit in the inner corner as well. Yeah, I really like that as an eyeshadow, but unfortunately not the right skin color to use this. So yeah, I will pass that on. So a four hour check-in on the trio here. So this is the bronzer, the blush and the highlighter. So this is what my face is looking like after four hours of wear. It is a cold day today, so I'm not sweating at all. I haven't been out at all or anything, but I think it is looking pretty good. I've just zoomed you in a little bit, so you can see how pigmented it is and that it really doesn't suit my skin and tone because I am so pale, but it is wearing really nicely um my forehead too so we are now about nine hours in i think maybe eight and a half nine ish hours so quick check in on the basic beauty um face trio palette so this is what the makeup is looking like now um ignore my nose because i've been blowing my um nose so that is rubbed off a bit but the cheeks still look pretty good. Um, I have had my hand on here, so it's wearing off a bit of my foundation. But other than that, like the blush and the highlighter, the bronzer, it's all still there. It still looks really nice, very seamless. It's just a bit too deep for my skin tone. So not including the cookie, the box came to $145.63. So I only paid $49 for it. So I am super happy with that. Again, amazing value for money. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If there's anything I didn't try and you would like me to please let me know down in the comments and I'll make sure I feature it in a future video and if you would like to order Lumibox yourself don't forget you can use my affiliate code which is purelotti10 and that will get you 10% off your very first box with Lumibox
So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to hit the thumbs up down below because it really helps me out. And if you're new, don't forget to join my family. Hit that subscribe button and change that notification bell to all so you don't miss any of my future videos. And as always, thanks for watching guys. Bye!